A setback for President Biden's push for standard booster shots of the COVID-19 vaccine. A Food and Drug Administration committee met for most of the day and decided a third dose is currently not needed. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. It's a contentious debate amongst the nation's top health officials, a topic so divided the FDA's vaccine chief urging scientists to hear each other out as Friday's critical meeting on booster shots kicked off. And we strongly encourage all the different viewpoints to be voiced and discussed regarding the data, which is complex and evolving. Ultimately, the committee voting against a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine for Americans 16 and up. New data out of Israel indicates an additional Pfizer shot gave 10 times more protection against COVID and severe disease. The company recommending boosters six months after the second dose. This as the virus runs rampant in some schools across the country. In Texas, more than 126,000 students have tested positive since classes began a few weeks ago. In Kentucky, one district temporarily suspending in-person learning because of a growing number of infections. Pediatric nurse Holly Pozzi in Montana says she's seeing a concerning surge of cases in children. It's really clear to us that the Delta variant is making an impact on pediatrics. Right now, more than 2,000 children are hospitalized with the virus. Tennessee has the highest infection rate in the U.S. Hospitals there are filled with the unvaccinated. Not getting the vaccine, it could cost you your life. I've actually lost several family members since I've been in here from COVID. The country reported more than 10,000 confirmed COVID-19 deaths in the last week, but some hopeful news from the CDC. Daily COVID hospital admissions will likely go down over the next month. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And while it did not approve booster shots for everyone, the Food and Drug Administration Committee did approve them for those over the age of 65 or those at increased risk of severe COVID-19 complications. This review is only for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. 